Let us pause for a moment and see how we look on the global map in terms of water scarcity. There you are. You can see Sri Lanka in red, high stress. Most of the countries around the world are now veering towards a high stress situation, whereas Sri Lanka has already reached that. And this in a country which is tropical, blessed with so many water bodies and which gets abundant rain throughout the year. But the good news is that there is light at the end of the tunnel. We now have the science and the technology to produce more and better from less. As we grapple with the escalating impact of climate change, this cycle is one that we must navigate consciously and sustainably. We must find ways to produce more food with less water while distributing water more equitably. The UN in Sri Lanka is committed to supporting the agricultural sector to become more productive, innovative, adaptive and efficient in its use of water. The road ahead for Sri Lanka as it works its way out of the economic crisis seems daunting. But today's event highlights an important force that will see us through these challenges. Commitment. Yes, commitment. Commitment from the government to drive sustainable change, the support of the development partners, and above all, the zeal of the youth who will carry forward the efforts initiated today. But simply, simply the fact is, we do not have the base upon which that can become a national priority. In order to make that base, we need an intensive use of our resources. We need to understand that when we implement healthy approaches, when we implement sustainable approaches, this is going forward in a win-win situation, bringing success not to our side of the house, but to the debate, but to the country. Youth must be encouraged to involve in agriculture so that newer technologies already adopted globally could be brought in. Modernized agriculture, water conservation techniques, crop diversification and use of artificial intelligence are few such areas. It is our collective duty and the responsibility to provide the farmers in Sri Lanka with the support they require to fulfill their vital mission of boosting food production. We are actively working to build resilience into our agriculture sector so that farmers are less vulnerable to future climate-related shocks and we stand firmly behind them in this endeavor.